So the BIM project management course, it's a sister course of the construction project management and it does share some of the modules. So we have a technical BIM um, and that is looking at the software, so that looks at using Revit and Navisworks mainly those two. Um, but the idea is not just to train up the students in the software, we're not training technicians. We're training project managers. The idea is that you have to be able to understand the software and what it can do and its proper capabilities to be able to be a project manager in BIM. Uh, I chose BIM project management because it's got a nice mix between BIM, which is something that I've already been working in before, and project management, which I'm not quite as experienced in, so it's just a nice kind of synergy of those, those two things. I'd originally studied architecture, and I'm actually a, an architect myself, and just through my work, I was interested in maybe enhancing the, the BIM uh, management within the office and um, they supported me to do this part-time whilst working um, during the week. We have a number of tutors who come in from industry who actually take some of the technical aspects of the course. That's really important for us. It means that the people delivering the technical modules are at the absolute industry cutting edge and they know exactly what's happening. They're right up to date with the, the most recent software. This is an exciting new model we're now running in Queen's, uh, giving students exposure to uh, emerging technologies that are now used within the construction in industry. I am a specialist in, in most of these technologies, so I'm assisting the academics in exposing the students to this technology and letting them try it out. We're not training them to be experts in that field, but when they go on to become project managers, they'll be able to know what instrument they need to do what job on their construction site. The needs of employers are really important to us. We want to make absolutely sure that the graduates we send out into the construction industry are meeting the needs of the construction industry. So we have a dialogue with an industrial panel of employers who have taken graduates in the past and we continue that dialogue. It's really important that we don't rest on our laurels, that we don't just stop developing the course. It's very necessary to learn about uh, uh, how to build uh, how to build uh, green green buildings. So uh, from this course, I think uh, in the future I will be um, I can I can create some new things and which is very uh, which is, which benefit to the to the environment. Project based learning is exceptionally important. Giving students a hands on experience and experience is. Uh, it's fantastic, giving them a deadline to meet is also uh, really good for them. So we're able to say, well look, we can actually show you what the building's going to look like with VR goggles, for example, before it's built. And that really gives a client a sense of confidence going forward and lets them make decisions early on, which is key for when it comes to the processes on to site. Um, so yeah, it certainly does, it does make you stand out within the team with the knowledge that we do learn in this course. If you look at kind of even even the last five years, I mean there's been huge advances in, in some of the ways that BIM is, is transforming uh, asset management with digital twins really coming in. Um, I mean, yeah, it's, it's really automating and, and streamlining the efficiency of how information is used. Um, yeah, it's got huge potentials that I think we haven't even realized yet in terms of what the models can actually do for people. So yeah, it's definitely moving in the right direction.